now let's see some solutions to the problems with the vanilla encoder decoder architecture described previously so first solution could be that we can reverse the order of the input sentence at the encoder side right so the intuition is let's say if the subject verb object ordering is same for source language and target language so that let's say the if you talk about english the english follows subject verb and object uh, ordering so english while decoding the decoder would require the subject information first right so if we feed the subject uh, in the end so this vector would be having more information with the subject right and it's also like quite natural to think that it may not work with the long sentences because we anyway will lose the object information because that was passed earlier right and also it doesn't work with the some language pairs like english and japanese because in japanese the order is not same so japanese follows subject object and verb ordering now the second solution so we can use a brnl like bidirectional encoder so the idea is so one will read the sentence forward another would read the sentence backward so and then finally we can combine the hidden states from both so this is the hidden state from the first decoder and this is this is the hidden state from the last uh, second decoder and we can combine them and we can pass it to the decoder it's true that it will be having more information but again it doesn't help much in the practice right now let's see how a humans translate a long sentence so if you are given this long sentence a human doesn't read the entire sentence once in one go and then start translating rather he translate the sentence in chunks like phrase by phrase or clause by clause like this and translate so we'll apply the same approach for the machine translation and call it the attention mechanism now recall that in our vanilla encoder decoder model we pass only the hidden last hidden state to the decoder and we kind of discard all these hidden states the previous hidden states right but this attention mechanism allows a decoder to even have a look at these discarded hidden states whenever it requires and it can extract the contextual information right so it kind of works as a sort of dynamic memory now let's see how exactly the attention works now let's say the decoder is going to emit the tth word of the target sentence now the decoder has already calculated the hidden state for the tth word which is ht without the attention mechanism right now this ht might be some representation of the word himself or herself not necessarily of himself it could be himself herself or any other similar word right but the decoder is not sure of the word himself however if we allow the decoder to peek at the source states it might retrieve the some contextual information like it might focus on vah khud and karta and retrieve that the word himself would be proper right so with the attention mechanism we generate a source side context vector ct this ct which contains the required and contextual information for the word himself or herself right so once we get the context vector ct the ct we can just concatenate both and pass it to the another layer and after multiplying this weight matrix wc and then applying the uh, 10h activation function we get the ht tilde as the attentional hidden state right now this ht tilde can be passed to the soft next layer to produce the probability distribution right now what is this context vector now, this context vector is nothing but the weighted average of the sum or all source states if we are talking about the global attention this would be the weighted average of the all source states right and if you are talking about the local attention it would be the weighted average of the sum source states right so this it is a alignment factor which contains the weights hs is the source hidden state 
so this ats contains just the weights so we can represent each weight by the wts now this wts is uh, wts what is the interpretation of wts so wts denotes how important the sth hidden state to generate the tth target sentence word right now all we need to do is to derive this alignment vector at right if we somehow get this alignment vector um, we can just take the weighted average based on these values of the source states and we can get derived the context vector 